Hey guys, Coach Adam from TeamElitePhysique.com today with another episode of Ask Adam. And today's question comes in from Haley. And Haley's question is, best advice for correcting asymmetries? My left leg, left glute was noticeably bigger at her first show. Okay, so how do we do this and how do we approach it? And I think this question goes farther than just an asymmetry, but what about total body symmetry? So not just left to right leg being bigger, but what about upper to lower body being bigger? How do we approach that? Okay, so bikini is a, a beautiful art form, okay? So it, it's, I don't think it's bodybuilding. I think it's pure art form and sculpting a perfect physique. And this is what we have to look at from bikini. You have to be balanced from upper to lower body, from front to back, from left to right, for in every in every area. But the good thing is with bikini is there is a limit to how much muscle you can have. So that's a lot of so because there's a limit, there's a lot of tools you can use that other divisions can't use. So for example, in bodybuilding, you're pretty much never reaching your limit. You're always trying to get bigger, always trying to get bigger, unless you're one of the you know ultra ultra elite Rammy guys who doesn't need to get any bigger type of thing, right? So with bikini, you can reach a level where you're where you're too big if you get any bigger. So what does that do for you? Well, let's say that your shoulders are at the limit where it's the maximum amount of shoulder you can have in bikini. What does that do? Well, if you still need to develop your glutes, but your shoulders are at the maximum, what does that give you as a tool? Well, you don't need to train your shoulders that much anymore, if at all, you need to train them. So that means that you have more days open for training the glutes more. And that's why one of the reasons where I'll see girls training chest, you know, I'll see girls doing like bench press and doing like a chest day in bikini. I'm like, that's cool that you want to do chest and you have fun doing it, but you're losing a day every time you're spending in the gym doing a muscle group that doesn't matter for a bikini. Like, why do you need to spend a full day on your chest day when you could be spending that day getting better in an area that actually matters? So that's the cool thing about bikini. So as soon as you build up too much, let's say you get too much quads, well, then you can spend that extra leg day on your shoulders. Or if you get too much shoulders, you can spend that extra leg day or special shoulder day on your legs, right? So you can start catching up and increasing frequency and volume. Now, you can't just do frequency all the time, hard, 100% every day, six days a week if you need to build build up your glutes. But we have been seeing things, in, in especially in the South American countries, where girls are pushing their legs more than we ever thought they could. I have been seeing girls, in even in Brazil, working their legs six days a week, you know, maybe a pump day and a hard day, and really getting their legs bigger in that wellness division because their upper body is already there for the wellness division. So we've been seeing things as these new divisions evolve as other tools that we can use for pushing yourself to getting your balance right. So the thing you have to do is you have to look at your physique, look at what needs more work, look at what's too developed and structure your workout program around that. It's very common that I have girls doing their glutes three days a week um, and then maybe a pump day in between for one to three days a week on top of that if they can handle it and they're advanced enough to recover from that. So what does that mean to you who needs to build up her legs to be a little bit more balanced? Well, maybe that means that you're doing more single leg stuff. Maybe you're doing single leg glute bridges. You're doing single leg leg extensions to balance out your balance out your legs. You're doing lunges and, and on, on one leg, on the, on the weaker leg, and maybe you're taking some time off on the stronger leg where the development's too much. So if that's a scenario for you where you're maybe doing a little bit higher frequency on your left leg, and maybe you're training your left leg three to four times a week, and you're training your right leg just one time a week just to maintain while the other leg catches up, that is definitely a way you can do it. Now, if you're doing all leg presses and all squats and all these compound leg movements, you're probably going to always use your right leg a little bit more than your left because that's your obviously your dominant leg. So it makes sense to break them out instead of doing or break them up. If you're doing leg uh, leg press, do a single leg leg press, right? Do four sets on your left leg and only one set, two sets on your right until you get that better balance there, right? So I'm not saying lose a whole bunch of muscle on your right leg to balance you out. That's, that might be the scenario that you need, but most likely it's just maintain the right, do a little bit of work just to maintain on the right side. It doesn't take too much work to maintain it. If you're working your right leg, maybe once a week, just pumping it, it'll probably maintain while you really work your left side until your balance is there and take measurements. Make sure you're catching up. Make sure you're keeping an eye on it. Take those measurements. Do a, if you have a 3d scan available, do a 3d scan. If you just have a measuring tape, measure in three different areas on your left leg and make sure it's growing a little bit. Test it every week. You know, make sure that this is working for you. Make sure your right leg isn't getting too small. So this works for all bikini competitors who have to develop one area a little bit more, increase that frequency, increase that volume for periods of time. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that guides you in the right direction. Don't be afraid to work out your right leg less. Don't be afraid to completely take time off of it if you need to. So Anyway, that's the that's the beauty and the art of bodybuilding, and you're going to sculpt your own beautiful piece of art, and I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for the question, and I'll talk to you guys next time.